think Halloween is like when all the cat lovers unite and decide that they're going to make the holiday actually about their cats instead of about whatever it is the Halloween's about. <laughs> Hey, I'm Rocky, and this is Rocky Sews. I'm not a beginner, but I'm not an expert either. So, let's sew together. Speaking of Halloween, I am pretty excited for it and have some pent up Halloween energy. So, I decided I'm gonna make some pillowcases. I asked the Instagram world, and the two highest voted ones were a cat and a cauldron. So that is what I intend to do. I, uh, I'm going to work on the cauldron. I might buy a quilt block off of Etsy and just use that. Or I might try and make up my own. We shall see. So I'm gonna start here with my cauldron. So I cut out a piece of paper that is the same size as my pillow and then I made a square in the middle of where I actually want my um, like quilt picture thingamaba to actually go to. I'm trying to think what do I want my cauldron to look like. <laughs> Okay, and so there's maybe my cauldron. Bubbles that will be appliqued. Stick that <laughs> maybe will also be appliqued. Oh yeah, ooh, I don't know about that. This is gonna be its own strip of fabric. This will be a rectangle of fabric, and then I will sew these little corners. Doop, 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 doop. And then here's a little squares for his little legs. The cauldron's body is gonna be <laughs> eyeballs because why not? And ooh, and then maybe I'll give this one as his little leggies. I like that. I like oh, and the top. Yes, that's totally what I'm gonna do. And then acid green bubbles. Yes, please. And then I'll find like a little white or something to do this. And I, I didn't, I didn't grab anything for this here. Um, and then background, I might just go classico orange. Look at that. Okay, I have all my pieces cut. And now this is the weird time when you have to actually think like in what order you're gonna actually sew everything in. So I think, oh God, what am I gonna do? Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did this totally okay. wrong. But uh, cutting everything and out actually last. helped me figure it out. And, then, and I did, eventually. And I sew this into a little figure strip. Figure it out. I'm gonna sew all those together. And then I'm gonna sew the corners. And how did I have this? I had this being my corner. Oh, maybe that was a bad call. Well, that's fun. I totally did it wrong. So this is what I'm gonna do instead. I have little squares and I pinned them in place and I kind of finger folded it over. And so I'm gonna sew right here do, 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 into this corner. And then that way when you flip it over and you put the seam allowance under it, da, 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 it kind of it makes it makes this boxy little um cauldrony thing maybe So I have my circles 
And I'm not even going to cut them out. I'm just going to sew them directly on here. And then I'm going to cut them out, so I only have to cut once. Here are my little bubbles. I've already cut, uh, already sewed and cut out. And I left myself a little gap. So I'm going to turn them and see what happens, because round things are kind of iffy. Hey, not too shabby. Look at that. Now that I have this here, I'm gonna iron it so that it's nice and flat and so that this corner that was my open side looks like a circle. And then I'm gonna go around it. And because it's um, double-sided, I don't have to do a zigzag stitch and worry about catching the edge because this won't is not going to fray on me. All right, I got the front of the cauldron done. It'd be cool if I had like a little smaller bubble right here too, but then I'm done with it. I love cats. Luckily for me, one of my friends is an estate sale junkie, maybe? And he found me this awesome book. The Cat's Meow, perfect quilts for cat lovers. Mm. Meow. So I'm going to use one of the quilting patterns out of here. Let's see if I can find it. That should be pretty easy. I've already looked at it and done some modifications so it'll fit my square pillow. soapbox moment. Senior cats are the best. They're old, they're grumpy, they're lazy, they're eccentric, and if you're going to adopt a new cat, I highly suggest getting a senior cat. Yeah, this is Grey Wind. We've had him since he was a kitten, and he is 12 years old now. And he is grumpy and likes eating a lot. This is Shadow. He, um, they said he was 10 years, he's 10 years old. We just got him like two months ago. And he is a super chill, snuggly dude. And he's got lots of personality. If you're thinking about adopting a cat, you should get a senior cat. Because they're the best. Once you get all of the things, all the pieces, squares, sewn together, then you'll have a little quilt bunting. And I'm going to cut these and do this all over again where they sew them to each other and sew them to each other, and then it'll be a cat! a cat and a cauldron. Yeah. So I have the fronts of my pillows done and now I'm gonna work on the backs. Now I could certainly just like install a zipper 
and that would be fine. But for some reason, I'm thinking I want to try this kind of, um, ooh, I don't know what it's called, like envelope pocket type thing for the pillows. This is actually a snack pack that I made for my son so he can have snacks. But I can use this to demonstrate the general idea. So front of pillow, and then in the back, there would be this fold, right? And I would shove the pillow in here and then shove it right there and then, uh, 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 and that would keep it in place. So that the front would look all nice. I like this idea because I don't have to use a zipper. My kids play with their pillows a lot. So zippers are always like, every time they're whipping the pillows around, I'm like, oh my God, your eyes, like with the zipper pools. So this way there are no zippers. See how it goes. Okay, so this is gonna be the back to my cauldron. I have it folded in half. Put my cauldron on top, and it is the right height that I need it to be. So I'm just gonna like fold it in half. That's my half point, but I want a little, a couple more inches than half. So I'm gonna kind of like, okay. And then I'm gonna cut here and I'll have two pieces. Well, and then I'll cut on the fold. And I'll have two pieces that I'll use to make the back. I've got my two pieces. I am going to fold over one edge and press and probably sew along there. My two sides are hemmed. So I'm gonna put these right sides together and sew along here. And I will put this one on the other side and sew along this edge. And then I will pin across the bottom and top and sew along so they're just overlapping each other. And that should make this little envelope situation that hopefully I can shove a pillow into. And they're done. I gotta say, I'm so pleased. They're so stinking cute. It's my kitty, and even the back is like pretty cool. And here's the cauldron in the back. The pocket method totally worked, which is awesome. So these are snug in there. I will say, if I had like a button or Velcro, they'd probably be a little like, a little curvier, but that's okay. And for my cat, I used every stitch of this fabric. There is none of it left. So as you can see, I didn't get as much of an overlap and you kinda, he kinda pokes through a little bit. But I think that's okay. That's the back anyway. Why would you want to look at that when you can look at a cat? I hope this inspires you to make some cool pillows or anything else fun in your house. Thanks for coming along my pillow journey with me. If you want to see more from me, make sure you subscribe. And happy sewing! Show you some of his tricks. See if I can. Yeah, I know. Okay, great. Claw. Good job. Ow, great went down. Down. Good. Good kitty. Great went up. Good. Sit. Good kitty. Good job. Yes, okay. You can just have these for freezies. Okay, how about this? Down. Great one. Down? Yeah, good. Okay, good. Okay, pretend like there's not just a bunch of toys everywhere. Up. Sit. Oh, he's it. He's it. There you go. Good job. Yes, pops, pops. Good job.